Welcome back to Project Castaway, everybody. This is going to be episode two. I'm excited to jump back in. So today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a raft. And we're going to go probably to that island right there. It looks like the smallest. I mean, there's some smaller ones out there, but I think that one looks maybe the most peaceful. I'm hoping the most peaceful. So before I jumped in, I decided to go ahead and go around the island and just collect all of the stuff that's just along the island. So we've got metal sheets, tires, barrels. Um, I found some plastic screws and bolts, scrap metal, and this power cell, which I assume is going to be useful. I also found uh, one, I found a message in a bottle. So we're going to check that out here in a second. And some blueberries. Um, and oh, this right here. One slice flag. This looks like a pirate flag. And I think what we can do is put it on our boat. The one slice flag adventure awaits on the seas. And if people haven't found it yet, I don't know if it's random or if it's in the same spot every time for everybody, but this is where I found it. I came over here to climb up top to just kind of see what we were, where we were going to go. It was right here, right in this little crevice thingy here, right below the, the stairs to go up to the radio tower. It was right in that area. So if you're looking for it, you can check there, but I don't know if it's supposed to be there every time or if it'll change based on you know if it's just completely random um but yeah we're gonna build a raft we're gonna go to another island uh but first i'm actually gonna stand in the shade here i don't know if the shade and the sun do anything but we're gonna read that note that we found um bottled notes traveler's note i set out on a solo voyage across the pacific ocean fulfilling a lifelong dream after retiring at the age of 55. sailing had always been my passion something I looked forward to for years. I thought I was prepared for anything the ocean could throw at me. I was wrong. Everything started well enough, but then my GPS stopped working. I became disoriented and lost, drifting aimlessly for days. The sea, once my sanctuary, has become my prison. I tried to navigate by the stars, but, endless, but the endless expanse of water is unforgiving, and my bearings are... are... something. I've landed on a small, uncharted island. At first, I thought I was it was a blessing, a place to rest and regroup. But this island is anything but safe. There's an eerie stillness here, broken only by the strange sounds at night. The sense of being watched is constant, and, the chills, and it chills me to the bone. I don't want to die here. The regret is overwhelming. I left behind a comfortable life, my family and friends chasing a dream that has turned into a nightmare. Every day I hope for a passing ship or a plane, some sign I haven't been forgotten. If you find this letter, please know that I fought to survive. Tell my family that I love them and I'm sorry for the pain my absence will cause. This was supposed to be my grand adventure, my crowning achievement. Instead, it has become my greatest folly. Please send help. I don't have much time left, and I don't want to become another soul, lost soul on this forsaken island. With deepest regrets, Martin Blake. So... Was he on this island, or was it just a washed-up note? Well, I don't really know, because I I looked up top in the last episode, but it was at the base of the the uh, ladder up there this time. Either I overlooked it last time, or it got added in the update that came out today. Uh, either way, I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and start on a raft. Uh, I'm not really sure what we need, but I'm going to use tires, because we've got plenty of tires. Um, so, can I jump? There we go. Cool. Yeah, we'll build it right here. And I'm not really sure. I think we'll probably have to get logs and stuff. So we'll have to go up and get that. But let's take a look here. So, yeah, three logs and two old tires. Her. Okay, so we can expand on cool. I want to do it like three wide. That is wide. Oh, we can do it longer if we wanted to. Okay. Let's just start with that for now. Because um, we're going to need, what, six? Six tires? I think we've got six. One, two, three, four. Damn. Damn. That sucks. Okay, we'll take one off. We'll do two wide for now, I guess. And we'll find... Oh, no! Oh, I forgot. You have to... It cancels everything whenever you use it. Or whenever you cancel it. I'm an idiot. Why did I put these on this side? I knew I was going to be building a raft today. And I put them on the other side of the rock like an idiot. My thought was, if the tide comes in, nothing will get swept away. But I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> that's okay, though. 
But I think this is all the tires on the island. I looked everywhere, and I just brought everything back before I even got started, because... Um, I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way, and collecting things is kind of boring. So, I did record it, so if you guys want to see me walking around collecting stuff, I can put that out separately. But... Wait, that was the last one, right? Correct? Yeah, okay, so we just need six logs. So it's three trips. Boink. There's also this. I need to check and see what this is. So I need, what, just the axe? Got my axe out? Do I not have an axe anymore? <gasps> yeah, I need a small stick. I made a small stick holder, which uh, took more small sticks than I care to admit. That was absolutely a waste of resources, but, you know, that is what it is. Boink. There we go. So what is this stuff here? Starfish leaf. I need to actually start looking at this stuff over here too. So starfish plant. Exotic star-shaped plant with fleshly edible leaves. So we can actually eat that. I wonder if we have to cook it first. There we go. Uh, let's see. Nothing's happening with it. Okay, that's fine. Let's just see what happens if I eat it. I really don't want to die and get food poisoning or something, but... Oh, it's actually good. I also added this sign here. Warning, sudden loud noise. Next to my bed because, you know, all this crab and fish and stuff's got me a little gassy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the trees that we need, the logs that we need for this raft. I'm thinking I'm going to drop them off the side up here. Make it easier than carrying them around. Ooh, coconut. Nice. We needed that. That way we can drop them off right next to the uh, the base here. Go away. Nope. What the crap are you? Wolf spider? I'm taking you. I'm going to take you and eat you. What is this? Ancient lantern. What? Um. I can't. Can't place it here. Cancel. Okay, let's go back. Let's take this back. We found something. Oh, in the book that said that there were treasures? So this must be one of the treasures. I wonder if we could do anything with it. But I can't place it anywhere. Well, that's dumb. I can't even move right now. What's going on? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I, I tried placing it in the house and it like is <laughs> it won't let me leave. Okay, so we're back. We're back. Uh, I'm not going to pick this up because it seems like whenever I pick that up, I can't move uh, after I drop it or try to drop it. So I'm not going to worry about it, but we know it's there. So we need to get logs. We need six. So let's go ahead and get the chopping. You take fall damage from, like, no distance at all. It's ridiculous. So, if I could change anything about this game right now, it would be to make things a little bit easier to see after you chop them down, because once they're down, everything just blends in. Mainly the coconuts. They're really difficult to find because just the shrub, the brush and stuff. And then the palm leaves, the palm fronds, they're very difficult to see because the stuff on the ground looks exactly like them. So once they're down, you just have to kind of scour around and hope you find it. Okay, so there's part of that. Hopefully it doesn't float away or anything while we're <laughs> finishing it. And boom. Okay, cool. So we've got that. Um, can, we, can, we, can we get up on top of it? Cool. Okay, so let's see, what else do we need? We'll probably need a sail. Uh, yeah, we'll need a sail for sure. Okay, so it snaps on. Uh, we'll just put it there. Need three large sticks and three cloth. Okay, cool. So we got a sail. Now we'll probably need a rudder. We'll need more sticks as well. It's so much easier to just collect everything and then 
just start building instead of trying to build and have to go and collect stuff. Okay, cool. And now, because we found it, we'll put this beast on it as well. We'll put it back here. Boom. Put that on it. Need two rope and one large stick. All right, we got that. Super easy. And boop, boop. There we go. And we've got a flag. Okay. I think that right there is the island that we want to go to. So, I think we got to push this out a little bit. Where it's floating. Yeah. Okay, cool. If I do that... Wait. A and D. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Okay, so how do I get out of that? Do I just escape? Okay, cool. So we just kind of like let it go. We're pirates. Arr. Farewell base. We'll see you in a bit. I wonder if you can add more uh, sails to make you go faster. I might have to try that because holy crap, this is pretty slow. But it is, you know, our first raft. We'll expand on it. You know, I was just thinking. We didn't save it before we left. I am the absolute worst at that. Oh, what is that? There's a flag up there. wonder if we can get that. Hold on. We're going on an adventure. I gotta see if I can pull this up right next to that. I want to see if I can get that flag. What kind of flag is that? Is that an actual just like pirate flag? Because there's one in the book that's... Uh, that's just a pirate flag. I wonder if that's it. Can I get up there? Come on. Come on. Okay, so we just need... Well, the Ancient Liar? Okay, well, where did it go? So I got a rope out of it, but where did the, the flag go? I'm wondering if it fell off into the water. Take a look. Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! Does that help? Does that help with our health? No! Oh, I thought it was deeper. That really sucked. Um, it looks like things are falling through this rock, which kind of sucks. So, I don't know if it fell through it and is gone forever, but yeah. Oh, well. Let's try to get down without dying. Okay, cool. All right, so the first thing's first. I need to, one, not die before I build a bed because I need to save it. Um, so we're gonna get some uh, some palm fronds and just build a bed real quick. Also, it'd be really nice if it would rain because I built that water collector and it hasn't rained at all. So we've got this. There's also a bow that we can make but I assume that arrows, I don't even see arrows. Where's the arrows at? Silver spear, bronze spear. We can get all sorts of different types of spears and knives and stuff. Oh, arrows, there we go. So we need, yeah, we're gonna need feathers. We haven't found any feathers yet, which is fine. So, okay, cool. We've got the bed. Let's go ahead and, you know, I'm gonna sleep for about four hours. Okay. It is only 5 p.m., but holy crap, it's getting dark. Um, what do we need to make a torch? Holy crap, that was really dumb. I should have waited. Here, torch. Cloth and small stick. Okay, uh, what do I- Oh, I'll need to drop something. Crap. Uh, I'm not gonna need this. I'll leave this here. And we'll take the torch. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see if there's anything on this island. I, I don't know why it got so dark at 5pm. What is this? The turret tree. Tura flower. Interesting. What are these? Flowers of this tree can be used in medicinal 
recipes. Nice. Okay, cool. That'll be nice. Okay. You know, I don't know if this torch really helps. There's another flag right there. Interesting. I wonder if we should swim out there and try to get it. This is kind of cool, though. It's like a old, uh, like a building. Hopefully there's no sharks out here. That would really suck. I get up, 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 up. Cool. Okay, come on. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these flags. I just found one and I got super excited about it. Come on, you can do it. Okay, so I'll need my my hammer again. I forgot about that. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm going to try to go back and actually sleep, like, until the morning, maybe. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay, cool. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I overshot that, but we're fine. Um, It's just so dark, but it's only 6 o'clock. I'm unsure why that is. Of course, it gets super bright at like 3 a.m., so we might be okay. Let's try to do that, because it's just, it's just too dark. Oh, those are human bones. So I've been waiting just for it to get bright outside, because it's just ridiculously dark and I can't see anything. And I know that you guys won't be able to see anything either. Um, so I've just been looking through the book here. So a couple things that we're going to need. So we're going to need leather at some point. So we need to, uh, once we get back to the base, we're going to build a tanning station. Um, there's also this bird snare, which we can use to get birds and which we'll be able to use to get feathers. And then we can do a bow and arrow, which will be really nice. Um, also this here, the prep table, um, used to apply different seasonings to food. And I assume what that's going to do is allow us to use, um, things, uh, what, what did we find earlier? We found something that was, we were, yeah, like lemongrass. Oh, that's, so that's for tea. Um, cures cold and it's delicious. Um, so yeah, stuff like that. And then there was also, where was it here? Uh, well, yeah, because we're going to need leather for the water pouch. That's what we're going to need because we need water a lot. And it still hasn't rained, so. Um, and there was one other thing. Where was it? Another thing was the furnace here where we can actually use that to get uh, metal ingots because there's different uh, like iron and copper and gold, I think. Um, but there was one other thing that I'm kind of worried about because we haven't really had to deal with it yet. Where was it? Oh, right here. Aloe gel. Apply it to protect, protect against the sun rays. I'm wondering if that would help like because during the day whenever we're doing things, it seems like our stamina and our energy drain super slow whenever we're in the sun and I'm wondering if that would help with that I don't really know if it would but yeah so uh, we're already up to level eight in stamina uh, and everything else is pretty low melee we're at eight it looks like that might be as high as you can go as level eight though because it's not really going up above that uh, obviously mining is at zero building is still coming soon same with hunting anyway we're gonna wait till it gets uh gets bright out so we can actually see on this island then we'll uh i'll bring you guys back all right look at this so now we can actually see the water in this is so pretty look at the colors on that i love that like the blues and teals looks so nice uh, i'm gonna i picked up the hammer so i'm gonna go and get this no i'm not oh my gosh no 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 all right I picked up the hammer and we're not going to go and get anything because wow there's two of them in there now wonder how hard it would be to kill them i just love the color in this game is it gonna rain it's gonna rain it's gonna rain i hope i hope that our oh my gosh i wonder if our water collectors like out of render distance that would really suck if it was so I'm just going to look around the island here and see if there's anything of importance. Um, it doesn't seem to be a lot like on the island itself. Just your typical, you know, trees and such. 
I've already been all the way around the outside of the island looking for tires. Oh, another thing I did is during the night I added another thing onto our raft just to make it a little bit bigger. No! Oh, that's right! Get wrecked, Chungus. I really want to go out there and get that though, but those sharks. Wonder if I can lure them into the uh, into the bay there and do a heck and stab fest. That looks like I would get stuck if I fell down in there. Let's not try that. Oh wait, I need bananas. Let's get some bananas real quick. I'm trying to figure out the closest point. I don't see the sharks now though. I wonder if I could get out there. Let's uh, let's take a gander under the water. Okay. It's looking safe. What was that? Wilson! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're just hanging out in the water. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh gosh, it scared me. Freaking turtle. I'm gonna I'm gonna place you right here, buddy. We'll take him back to the base with us. Don't roll away. I need to find a spot. Can I just like don't don't roll too far. Cool, you're stuck there. Cool. Alright. Now let's go back out there. Interesting. I thought it was like a coconut. Alright, yeah. It's looking looking safe. Oh, there's a cannon down here. Oh, we can bust these open. What's that? Cloth. Pirate flag. Oh, nice. Look at that. What's this? Another pirate flag. Oh, gosh! No! No, 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 no. Go away. <laughs> oh, no. So I guess we don't have to go up top, unless we need to break all those pirate flags down. That might be a thing. Oh. Oh, you sneaky bastard. So we have two pirate flags. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put one on our base, too. That'll be fun. I do want to go back out there. I need to get up top there. So we found Wilson. We found the pirate flags. It's interesting. I wonder if we stab the shark, if it'll just go away for a bit and then come back. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Jump, please. Jump. Thank you. Okay, cool. All right. Because they're the flags are kind of hung up. I'm wondering if it's just like a side quest type thing where you can chop down all the flags. I do also want to get back to the base before it stops raining because I want to make sure that we get some water back at the base. Okay, yeah, so that just gives us rope. Okay. All right, let's get our spear out. I don't see the shark. So we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the base. It doesn't look like there's anything else out here. Um, just resources. This would be a great base to build because there's a lot more trees and um, yeah. So let's go back to the base. I should be able to get that. That'll be quicker over this way. Oh my gosh. Take half health for that tiny little fall. All right, let's go. Swim, 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 swim. There he is. There he is. I can see him. Oh, there's another one. There's two. What the shit? Oh gosh. Scree. Oh, okay. Well, that's gone. <laughs> All right. Let's go home. All right, we are home. I'm going to take this off of here and hopefully it doesn't glitch out on us again. We'll just, uh, okay, well, can't hang it on the wall. So 100% fresh. Nice. That's awesome. Cool. We got some water going. Um, so we're going to need to, f okay. So, for water, since it's raining, let's start with a tanning rack. So where is that at? Tanning station, large stick, rope. Okay, we can do that. Uh, I'm going to put this outside, because that makes sense, right? Boop! Okay. So 
we need three more rope, which we should have. Well, there's one. So I'm assuming that we can just use the Komodo skin, which we have. Uh, yeah, two there. How many do we need for the water pouch? Three. Of course. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we? Okay. Let's just get the sticks that we need for the um, tanning rack real quick. Boy, it's, uh, it's doing a heckin' big rain. Big, big rain rain. Okay. Hang hide. No animal hide to use. Okay, so if we take those, can we use those? 23 hours? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's going to take a while. I guess it makes sense. We'll, we'll just store these right next to it. Maybe we should build a couple of those. That's that's insane. Yeah, I'm going to build another one of those because that's that's nuts. That's the tech and nuts. Yeah, that's that's all. Well, I wonder if it I wonder if it'll slow down whenever it's not raining. I wonder if it'll go faster whenever the sun's out. Boop, boop. There we go. OK. Cool. All right, so we got two of those going. That's good. Um, we'll just have to make sure that we're killing other animals on other islands because I don't think there's anything else around here for us to kill on the starting island here. So let's get in here real quick. Um, see. So the bird snare we're going to build in a bit. Um, what was it over here? Furnace, six stones and a metal sheet. Uh, let's uh, I'll put you like... I kind of... I'm going to expand out that way, I think. So I don't really want to build like in the corner too much i guess it's not really gonna matter maybe like right there that works okay so metal sheet and we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to find six stones i don't know where we're gonna find six stones at but that's that's our goal now it's dark it's raining and we're looking for rocks okay we have a furnace Sweet. I need to put ore shards inside the furnace first. Well, obviously. So, okay. So we're going to have to get some ore shards, which I think there's some up here. I think that the only thing we need is just the axe. Nope. Okay. What will we need? Tools. Stone axe. Silver axe. Stone pickaxe. Cool. There we go. There's some copper here. Oh, there's it looks like there's multiple veins inside of this. Cool. I like that. I like that it just takes a little bit at a time. That's really nice. We'll get a few of these. Uh, because we are going to... I assume everything... What was that? Must have been a bird. Okay. So gold axe, silver axe, stone, granite, bronze. Wait. Crafting level four, mining level four. What level are we? Well, we'll just go ahead and, yeah, we'll just go ahead and smelt these. Let's look for granite. I think there's some granite down there. We'll just go ahead and like level everything up. Need to put ore shards inside the furnace first. Oh, so I have to actually drag them in. Okay, copper shards. Wait, what do I need to put in for fuel? Add fuel. Oh, I just have to crouch down. There we go. Okay, cool. And there we go. Okay, cool. All right, cool. It's just like a fire. All right, let's see if we can find some granite real quick and uh, upgrade all of our stuff to granite because it might be a little bit better for us. So how many do we need like for each of these? Granite, so two for the granite pickaxe. Uh, granite axe, one. Okay. Yeah, I think that's enough for now. Okay, so we've got impure ingots. I wonder what that means. Impure ingot. Where would this even go? Granite shards, granite shards. There's no ingots in my bag. I wonder if I'm... Di what, how did I do that wrong? Maybe I have to like use a leveled up pickaxe to get those before I can smelt them. So let's go ahead and make the granite axe. So there's that and we'll make the granite pickaxe as well. So we can uh, we'll just do you right here and you, you right here. Okay. Now let's see. I like the difference in that too. It's not this. 
like they don't make it look the same with just different textures they make the whole thing different okay let's see if this will give us anything better because it doesn't seem to work with the furnace if we uh yeah just a normal copper shard maybe i need to level up my my mining i don't know i don't know i really wish i could see i put this down over here because i figured it would light up the whole place but no not even a little bit impure ingot again okay so what do i need to do to to make those do you have to put it with something else i'm very tired i need to sleep okay you know i'm gonna try one more thing new condition discovered cold great okay so i want to try something different then we'll sleep so mix copper and tin wonder if you have to mix them okay I'll hang out next to the fire and warm up real quick while that's going. I assume that you've got to mix them to make a pure instead of just being fully... Oh, the fire went out. Okay, so let's see if these made anything good for us. Bronze ingot. Okay, cool. So we did it. All right, cool. So we need to sleep. So we have to mix the bronze and the tin to make the, the copper ore or the bronze ingot. Or, yeah, bronze and the tin to make the bronze ingot. Um... Let's just store these right here for now, and let's get some sleep, because uh, I don't want to pass out. That would suck. Cool, so we got bronze. We know how to smelt now. Um, there's just a couple more things I wanted to do before we called it for today. I want to build those bird snares. Small sticks, large sticks, rope. Okay. Cool, so we'll be able to collect some feathers, so we'll be able to use the bow and arrow. Hopefully the bow is good. So I'm cutting these trees down, right? And it seems like with the granite, I'm getting, or the granite ax, sorry. Um, I'm getting three logs per tree now. I don't know if that's a thing or if it's just luck of the draw. Anyway, I think that's what we're gonna call this episode. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series because I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, we didn't really find much in way of the story this time. I wonder if I missed some stuff over there. I looked around a lot, but most of the time we spent over there was really dark. On the next episode, we'll probably go to one of the other islands, one of the bigger ones. Maybe visit some of the stuff that's out there. You know, I don't know. There's also a submarine that we've got to find around this island. So maybe we'll search for that next time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.